My name is Dr. Kirsten Johnson, and I am an assistant professor at McGill University, and I also work with the Humanitarian Training Initiative. Humanitarian emergencies have not only increased in the last 25 years, but they've changed in nature and scope. Humanitarian workers are mostly young, under the age of 30. They come from a variety of backgrounds, but they don't have standardized training. The face of the humanitarian sector is also changing. Most staff are local, living in the countries that are affected by war and disaster and have no access to professional development. But the reality is that nobody needs this training more than the low-income organizations and individual humanitarian workers working on the ground in actual emergencies and disasters. There needs to be a solution to this problem. The Humanitarian Training Initiative and the World Health Organization, in partnership, plan to provide accessible training that is standardized and competency-based to humanitarian workers around the globe. Combining globally recognized, competency-based humanitarian curriculum with adult e-learning multimedia technology to create modules that can be downloaded to any computer, mobile, or handheld device, the e-learning modules will be easily accessible to 95% of the humanitarian workers who are based in austere locations around the globe and will provide standardized humanitarian competency-based modules that will follow a set course for professional development. We will offer a high level of support to our students through webinars and live chats, as well as a Twitter feed where students will be able to ask a question and receive a swift response. For every course that is bought, we will donate one to a low-income partner. All e-learning subscribers will have the opportunity to participate in annual regional simulation-based trainings to apply what they have learned in a hands-on setting. Oh, yellow alone. I'm trying to combine minors. The result will be better trained people, enhanced response on the ground, an improved humanitarian response overall, and it'll help the lives of all those people affected by war and disaster.